as the temperature gets colder, we don't want to forget about weatherization. Um, and it's the same, you have the same objective as you do in the summer, plug up leaks and adjust your temperature. And the two big ones uh, that you want to focus on are also the same. Insulation, number one, um, and adjusting your, your temperature, number two. On the insulation side, it's all about the depth of your insulation. So you've got to go up in the attic, look to see the type of insulation that you have. Can be fiberglass, can be loose fill. It's hard to tell without going up there. Then you have to find out what is the right depth for that type of insulation and make sure that you have the right coverage. You can find those things online or you can find them at the hardware store where you actually buy that insulation. On the temperature side, the key is in the summer, you want that temperature to be as high as you can take it. In the winter, you want that temperature to be as low as you can take it. Each degree is worth about 3% in savings. And the goal in the winter is typically around 68% or 68 degrees. That's what you're shooting for. My first job out of school was home energy auditor. And a couple tips that I wanted to share with you that I saw people forget. Some of those include uh, the fireplace flue. If you have a fireplace, make sure after that fire is done that you close the flue. That's no different than having a hole in your roof. Uh, that's a big one. Um, the insulation around your attic door. Uh, can't forget about that. Again, you just have a small, thin piece of plywood. If you don't insulate that, a lot of leaks come through there. Um, another one is removing your, your window air conditioners. If you have a, a window, window air conditioner, very hard to plug that up in the wintertime. See if you can remove that and close the window fully. Um, and the the uh, fourth one, big one here, if you have electric heat, electric heat is very expensive. A lot of folks leave those electric baseboards on in rooms that they're not in. Make sure you turn those off. Those heat up very quickly. You can turn those on, on and heat the room up um, rather than try to heat it all day. Uh, so electric baseboard is another one to, to keep off if you can.